demand for a lot of artists and a lot of uh, designers to be able to create and customize visuals for their games without having to learn a lot of code or necessarily rely on the programmers to define the art style of their project. And this can require a lot of knowledge of uh, complex maths and algorithms to create your end results, which kind of doesn't really make much sense. You don't really want to learn a lot of libraries or learn a lot of algorithms to then be able to determine that a certain particle system has a red ring around the outside of it or any other sort of visual element. Now, technical artists would, but other artists and designers and people who are sort of new to creating games aren't necessarily as comfortable with that. So we have a look at some shader code. It looks typically like this. You'd have a series of blocks or a series of functions or sections of the code that determines different elements of your visual. So for example, you want a red outline around a character, you want lighting to behave in a certain way. So you have to learn a lot of these libraries, a lot of these algorithms to be able to have an end result. And this isn't really ideal for anyone who doesn't want to write a line of code, but be able to define a lot of the visuals of their game or project. So we decided to develop ShaderGraph, which is a node-based, entirely visual tool, which takes a lot of these kind of blocks or functions or sections of code and converts them into these visual nodes that contain that code or contain a representation of that code. So as opposed to going back and writing things to determine that something has a yellow outline or a yellow Fresnel effect, we instead can use shader graph and create Fresnel nodes or create colored nodes and connect them up and have that same end result. So it's a very visual system and tool to creating visuals in your game without having to learn a lot of code and to have a lot of feedback as you're developing your shader or your visual for your project. So at a very high level, ShaderGraph is a visual interface to create shaders using no code at all. It's developed by Unity's graphics team, um, mostly in Copenhagen and also a developer in Brighton. It includes a vast library of built-in nodes. And I think currently there's about 200 nodes. Either the number's gone up or down, I'm not too sure. But what we really wanted to do is supply a wide range of different nodes of different algorithms and different uh, maths. So you don't have to write all these nodes yourself or you don't have to investigate for these nodes yourself. You can instead use a lot of the built-in nodes to create a lot of very unique and interesting visuals, especially when you start combining them. And this session is gonna, isn't gonna cover um, this specifically, um, but there's also an API to create your own custom nodes. So if you are a technical artist or a programmer and you want to be able to create some unique visual you can instead um, actually write your own custom nodes and then add that to our library of built-in nodes. And as I said, the session isn't going to cover that, but it opens up a whole range of different um, possibilities when people are going to create their own nodes and be able to share them on somewhere like the Asset Store and things like that. And as I said before, ShaderGraph is available in Unity 2018.1 and it's available via the Package Manager, which I'll show you how to use in a second. And it's currently only compatible with the lightweight script or a render pipeline. I'll show where that's set up inside the editor, but that's very important to point out when you are using ShaderGraph to create some visuals for your project.